Hello everybody, we are playing Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. And what I'm going to be doing is I will show you guys one of my favorite builds for this game, and that is a full heavy rifle build on a King Crab. Um, if we take a look at the battle mechs that I have, I'll show you the setup. And you'll notice that I do in fact have four heavy rifles mounted onto this thing. I have as much ammo as I could fit in because each canister only holds 12 shots and everything else is just heat sinks. I do have LRMs on here and that is mainly so I can deal with flyers and small things I don't want to waste ammo on. Everything else is just heat management and heavy rifle ammo. We have a mission here and I believe this is a war zone which is actually perfect for this. So what I'm going to do is switch some mechs around, get into my heavy rifle, King Crab, and I'm going to give McBride a Black Knight because I don't want her screwing up my hero, Marauder, which has wonderful weapons and I don't want to hurt them. Right, so there's the Black Knight and we are ready to go. So the good thing about heavy rifles really is two things. Number one, they hit like a truck. Four of them brought, will equal something like a hundred point damage. The second good thing about them is they projectiles are very, very fast. It makes things easy to hit. One of the downsides obviously are number one, the fact that it is not easy that it is not easy to uh, uh, manage heat, they do generate a lot of heat, and they also don't shoot very often, the uh, rate of fire is pretty low, but I find if you lead your shots, if you make your shots properly, if you aim them, you won't need to fire that fast, because everything's just gonna die. Right, so, moving on, we have Nunez and the Stalker, we have McBride in a Black Knight, and we have got Dozier. I forget the name of that mech, but it starts with a B. Probably a uh, battle something or other. Alright, so let's go and trigger this, and um, see what comes. This is a difficulty 80 mission, so I'm not expecting too They've much trouble. I'm, seeing I'm probably gonna have see a few assault mechs, but we're not gonna see an overwhelming amount. Now, the way I like to play these missions, especially on this particular map, is I just like to stick it up top, there, get up high somewhere, tanks. and just Destroy be a turret. It. And just blow things up from up high and from afar. That works best. Alright, so what do we got? We have some flyers. Destroyed. So let's say hello. Oh, Destroyed. my teammates already said hello to them. So let's give the light tank the good news. We might go around. Zoom mod, destroyed. which helps immensely with uh, aiming, and I highly recommend it. Oh, and we have got some light mechs. Should be nice and easy to kill. Ah, one light, one medium. The light is a panther. So we can say hello to the panther. Hi, panther, how are you? Whoa, that was a bad shot. I should have been dead that. And the Centurion is his friend. So we're going to nail him next. Another bad shot. If you hit these right, everything's going to be a one shot. But if you don't, it'll take a little longer. There you go. And we have got another Panther to play with. If you do, if you like this, I can hit things for you. Right, another panther. This one's already damaged, so I can just hit it in the middle. Just one shot. This panther here. Oh, just a couple more shots. Just to make it interesting. Right, he's gone. One thing you will notice, guys, is that heat is not at all an issue with you. The thing about heavy rifles is... Oh, wonderful shot. 
thing about heavy rifles is they force you to take your time and aim because they do not reload so quickly, which means there's plenty of time for your mech to cool down. There we go. And he is gone. There's an Igor. Another Igor. So these I like to shoot with one rifle at a time. And that one is taken care of by my team. Alright, let's see who else comes. But yeah, um, they hit hard. There is no heat issues whatsoever. Now, if you are having heat problems with this setup, it's probably because you put SRMs on your back. You don't need them. You don't have them. This is not a brawling build. You don't need SRMs to brawl. You need to take things out of the range. So if you switch them out to uh, LRMs, your problems will go away. Alright, Warhammer, hello buddy. How are you? That's a bad shot. At least two or three of my shots missed, which is why he still has an arm. But now I'm gonna tell you not to shoot me at the door. And yeah, you can just plink away at range until they are gone. Uh, what's this? That's a thunderbolt. Let's see if I can get him dead. <laughs> all of his weapons and made him reconsider his life choices and we'll just go one by one, one, one until they are gone alright five more things to kill and we are done although I do want to stick around for a little bit just as much as just as long as I have ammo ammo is a limitation Oh, they're coming right here, which means I can get him in the head. This is good. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a stalker. A stalker. I have a tour side tour side. Oh, I'll get that in the head. There's your cockpit. Oh yeah, I just cored him. That's fine. We'll just do a little shot and he'll be gone. Right, and we have some Igor, so... Rifles are cycling, so we'll do a shot at a time. And that's it. That's it, we're done. I still have 54 shots. I'm gonna stick around for a little bit longer. And see what happens. This is the fun part of this game for me, by the way, guys. It's just... Having a mech that just hits like a truck. If you hit something, it knows it's been hit. It's not blinking away with little medium lasers or whatnot. You just hit him. Right, here's a dervish. Bye, dervish. Bye, dervish. Right. Wolverine is next. Bye, Wolverine. Bye, Wolverine. <laughs> Alright, and a quick draw. These guys have a decent amount of armor. So I'm just gonna go like this. Take away half of his weapons and his core. And yeah, now he's basically thinking, why did I come here? This sucks. Okay, yeah, still have 41 shots. And my evac point is right there. My lance mates are perfectly fine. So yeah, we stick around and shoot things, just because it's fun to shoot things. Alright, who's coming? Who's coming next? Come on guys, you know you want this. Granted, 25 of your friends failed to dislodge us, but just one more lance is gonna do it. Just land it. You'll notice guys, I'm destroying walls. This is not because I'm bored. I mean, I am. But I hate walls in this game. All they do is block you from seeing things. They block your sensors. And they let they give AI something to hide on. So, I'm going to break it all. I'm just sitting on maybe one more lens. Oh, the stage get dropped and we'll see what happens. I would like them to come in really far. So I could just long range snipe them before they even get close. There they are coming. Uh, there we go. We have something. Yes, thank you for coming in from far away. Panther. 
<laughs> this guy just fell apart. I don't know what I knocked off of him, but it looks like everything. Alright, yeah, let's LRM this guy because... Too late. Oh, part of him. Him, I'm going to take my time with, but first... I'll kill the grasshopper because he's alive. I don't want that. Now he's gone. Go after the heavy tank. Come on, recycle weapons. Go. Go. Alright, yeah, that's that. A couple more and we will be done. Just hanging around, hanging out, shooting things. One of the reasons I like to stay up here, even though it may seem a little boring, is that regardless of where the enemies spawn, you have a shot. When you have a, and when you have a really powerful long-range weapon like four heavy rifles, you're pretty much a god turret. Alright, another minute or so, more will come. Now, if you're wondering where to get all these heavy rifles, because a big part of this build, of why this build works, it's simply the fact that these rifle are, rifles are pretty good. I have one level 5 and three level 4s. You can't buy Enemy these and you can't really salvage them. I don't see them location. drop. Safe you gotta do missions. There. Just do our cantina missions and then do quests. And before you do the quest, check what the reward is gonna be. Don't just take all of them. Just take the ones that you want the rewards for. Explode. Oh, there we go. There's something worth shooting. It is a grasshopper. I took off his arms. These things do have a bit of a spread. They're not pinpointed in one single spot. But uh, they hit so hard it doesn't matter. You always take something off. Alright, I think that's it for that lance. And I have 23 shots remaining which gives me about five to six full salvos so one more we'll stick around for one more drop then we'll go home and counter sea bills this king crab by the way that's the reward from that super fun mission stop the launch the mission is a lot of fun it's hard but it is completely worth it for the reward and uh, cause you can do so much with this mech you can do 4 heavy rifles, you can do LB um, 10x's, oh look an Atlas let's get him in the head uh, two of the shots hit him but two of the shots got blocked in the tail it's ok we'll get him again and I'm gonna try one at a time see if I can get him in the head Yes, <laughs> and there was even an Atlas drop that quick before. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. All right, let's go home. See how we did. Kind of a big crab drop here. All right, moving on on. Oh, more hostiles. I kind of want to hit him. Let's level up this guy. But, why not? Yeah, one downside to this mech is that it's slow. But, it's worth it. Alright, Igor. Hey. Vindicator. Vindicator. Oh, 
I missed it. Two of my shots took off with machine guns. The other two basically just uh, uh, hit the wall behind me. Guys, you kill him. I'm running out of weapons. Target mech and eliminated. We are going home. Sea bills over what I was supposed to get. That this works. Sort of karmic justice. I'm sure Jessup's Avengers will think twice and let's before see running what our salvage looks like. Is a harmless supply convoy. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, I Commander. Know, just let us out. So one thing I'll tell you is I will typically go for salvage. When it comes to choosing between money and salvage, my first playthrough I went for money. And yeah, you get money, but the problem with money is there are things you can't buy in this game. The uh, level 4 weapons and stuff like that, most of that stuff drops from games, um, from matches. So it's usually much, much better to go for salvage and roll those dice. Nothing good now, I'll just take the Vindicator to sell. And I don't know, an element, because why not? So yeah, now my teammates did quite well also they did over a thousand damage each which is great i try to give them ppcs and gauss, gauss rifles things that are pinpoint when they get their skills high enough they don't miss with those things and uh let's look at our next we are in pretty good shape we're gonna fix them all and go looking for more fun but that will probably come in the next video Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the uh, quad rifle layout, I love it myself.